So I have a great gas law demonstration that's non-intuitive, that always gets my students. And what I have here is a balloon that's blown up, has more, I guess, more gas molecules. It seems like the volume is bigger, so I sus suspect greater number of gas molecules. A balloon that's blown up smaller, so there should be less gas molecules, so we think. But that only works if temperature and pressure is the same. And that's not the case. So when you connect these two and open the valves up, it's not intuitive. And I ask my students, what's going to happen when I open up the valves? And they all say, well, the big air in the balloon is going to go to the smaller, and both balloons will have the equal size. So we think. Okay, so when we open up the valves, watch what happens, and it's non-intuitive. I open the valves up, what's happening? You can see the air from the smaller one is getting smaller. And this one, if you watch carefully, is getting bigger. Non-intuitive. What's happening? I thought this had less gas molecules and less pressure. But if you know something about balloons, they're more elastic in the beginning part of when you blow a balloon up. You know when you blow it up, it's harder in the beginning. There's more elasticity. So the smaller balloon actually had gas under higher pressure because there was more elasticity pushing down on the gas molecules. And that higher pressure forced the air into the bigger balloon. So the bigger balloon got bigger and the smaller got smaller. If the student said the pressures would equalize, he would be right. But if they said that the, pre the volumes would get equal, then, well, um, they would not be right. So it wasn't that the, the balloons were under the same conditions of temperature and pressure. They were not because they were under different pressures. And that's what is a great discussion about um, Avogadro's hypothesis, a great little non-intuitive demonstration.